believe this, man. Oh. You just had to hit him with a collar, didn't you? Oh, that's my fault, is it? Yeah. You have got to be shitting me, Roland. I mean, you've got to be shitting me. What do you think's gonna happen when Leo finds out? This is it. We're done for. I mean, why the fuck were you on the phone? You need to lay the hell off, buddy. This is my house we're in. I'm putting more on the line right now. And quit it with the phone call. I'll see your goddamn mouth. Call. Look, this is hardly our biggest issue right now. We're in this mess and that's that. What we've got to figure out is how to get rid of that body. I know who to call. Who? Johnny Rowland? Is this your house? That's correct. I'm Jack Hammer. I solve problems. Can I come in? Of course. I understand that you're Jonathan Domingo. The two Johns. You've really messed up. Yeah, there was this moron's fault. Oh, I'm the moron. Yeah, you are moron. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I understand that time is of the essence. I can't exactly come up with a story to tell Mr. June to save your skins, but I can help you get rid of the body. The garden. Is there one able to see over these fences to see what's going on in there? No, it's um, pretty, pretty closed off. As we drove in here, there was a shed at the front. Are there any tools in there? Yeah, there, there are. Well, in that case, gentlemen, here's the plan. One of you can go and fetch a saw from the shed, whilst the other can get some bed sheets to place beneath the body. Unfortunately for you, Timmy, you have to chop this body into little bits. I know a guy who works in a kennel, so disposing of what's left of the corpse should be no issue. These dogs get very hungry. I can't believe this shit, man. You're never living this one down. Oh, so you're still talking to me like it's my fault. Excellent job, lads. Now we've got the nasty things out of the way, all we've got to do now is clean up with the rest. All I have to do is hose you down, get the blood and guts off you. I'm sure Roland's got to change your clothes. Mr. Hammer, sir, is that completely necessary? Can't we just go wash this all off in the shower? What, so there's more mess of you to clean up? Shirts off, fellas. Gentlemen, brace yourself. Seriously, man, be grateful.
Well lads, this is where we part waves. I've got the rest of the body in the trunk. It's your responsibility to burn the clothes. Mr Hammer, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you bearing the circumstances. Call me Jack. Yeah, you're really safe our asses. Really appreciate it. No problem. Well lads, I know you wish you the best, did me your boss. I wish you well. All the best. That's a good job calling the hammer. I guess I'm not so much of a moron after all. I'm so sorry, man. Let's put that apart behind us. We're both equally responsible for what happened here today. Of course. Of course. Well, if it isn't the two Johns, bring it in, boys. Yeah. Unfortunately, gentlemen, this isn't the social call. I'd love to kick back and shoot the breeze with you, but I really, really need you to get on something pronto for me. That case we acquired a few weeks back got taken out of my hands. Fortunately, caught up to one of the motherfuckers the other day and took back what's ours. The other one, however, he still walks. To bring that punk ass motherfucker alive. Alright? And uh what exactly did you do with the old guy? <laughs> Give me a second. Well, we're here. You're good to go. You think that Lee right here is a little more, I don't know, more unhinged? Well, like, he isn't always like that. To kill a man is fair enough, but to keep his severed head in the fridge, it's a bit excessive, no? I don't think that's the time to start questioning the boss. I mean, he treats us pretty well, and I think we've got a pretty good thing going, so. I just try not to think about the shit he keeps in this fridge. What are we doing? Usual routine? Be in and out. Two minutes, tops. Hi, hey, can I come in? Fuck you. Mum? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, yeah. Just at work with John. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck yeah, me, I fuck mean. you. Yeah, I love injury, fuck you. Yeah, it was just, it wasn't a migraine, it was just a headache earlier. I've had some paracetamol right now, but um, yeah, what's for dinner? Yeah, I might be home a little late, but lasagna sounds good. Yeah, yeah, no I'm all right. But, I'm going to have to come back. What the fuck are you doing? Get the back out! Asshole! You asshole! 
Was that funk or that fucking important that you put this job at risk? Don't call me asshole, asshole. How do you even get out of the house in the first place? Who are you even on the phone to? My mum. Your fucking mum. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck me, fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Look out! Looks like we're up Shit Creek with that paddle. <laughs> <laughs>